The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. To add these two fractions together, 1 6 plus 4 fifths, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is simply the least common multiple for the two denominators. So here our first step is to find the least common multiple for 6 and 5. 6 factors as 3 times 2 and 5 doesn't factor. Remember when finding the least common multiple we're looking for factors that match up. And here we have no factors that match up so our least common multiple, or LCM, is simply 3 times 2 times 5, or 6 times 5, which is 30. So our least common denominator for these two fractions is 30. In order to get a denominator of 30 in the first fraction, we must multiply our denominator of 6 by 5. The problem is we can't just multiply the denominator of a fraction by 5 because that changes its value. However, if we also multiply the numerator of the fraction by 5, we're actually multiplying the fraction by 5 over 5, which is 1. And when we multiply anything by 1, it doesn't change its value. So our first fraction becomes 5 over 30. Notice that 5 over 30 has the same value as 1 over 6. For our second fraction, we have a 5 in the denominator, and we want a common denominator of 30, so we must multiply this 5 by 6. And when we multiply the denominator of a fraction by 6, we must also multiply the numerator by 6, so we have plus 24 over 30. 5 over 30 plus 24 over 30 is 29 over 30, which is our final answer.